Good morning, everybody. So, for today, I'm going to make up some cream of chicken soup for a meal I'm making today, which you guys will see tomorrow for Whip It Up Wednesday. Now, I found this recipe on Pinterest, so I'm going to put the ingredient, I'm going to put that link down below so that way you guys can see which one I'm using because I don't have a recipe for cream chicken soup. Wipe my hand here. Okay, so I got three tablespoons of butter in here. Wrong burner. Oh gosh, I hate when I do that. I have three tablespoons of butter in there that I'm going to melt and then add three tablespoons of flour and then my spices. And in in the recipe it says to use chicken stock, but I want to test this out. The Thrive Chicken Base. So I'm actually going to use this in the recipe instead of using chicken stock. Because I want to know what this tastes like and how good this one is. So while this melts, I'm going to get this prepared. And I'm just going to use half a teaspoon of water. Or sorry, I'm going to use half a teaspoon to half a cup of water. Because on the measurements here it says one teaspoon of bouillon powder to one cup hot water makes one cup broth. And I need half a cup, so I'm going to make this into half a cup. So we'll be right back. Okay, so my butter is melted. Now I need three tablespoons of flour, but I only have half a te tablespoon here, so we got to do six of them. There's one, two, and there's three. Okay, now I'm gonna whisk this together. I really gotta get another one of these whisks. And I'm just using my normal flour mix I use. Get that stirred in there. Okay, and let's let that heat up a little bit to cook off that flour taste. garlic. I just need half a teaspoon of garlic. I'll face it. I'm going to go a little heavier on that. And half a teaspoon of onion. Doesn't call for it, but I like onion. Oh, 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 oh! That hole was open. Oh, well. It'll be a little extra onion -y. Okay, let's stir that in there. Oh, this smells so tasty already. Okay, now let's pour in that chicken stock. And this, I did taste it. Woo, it tastes really, really, really nummy. You want to do this slow and steady. Oh, I might end up with clumps. Urgh. I'm hoping not because I still have half a cup of milk to add to this. I have a feeling I'm going to be adding a little bit more than that than what there is there. Oh, ding, bang, boom. Dropped my fork, but that's okay. So I have my heat down pretty low now. And half a cup of milk. I'm using rice milk. It says use whatever you want in the recipe, and so I am. I always do anyway. Okay, let's get this stirred up. Oh, I hate that when it clumps. Okay, we'll be right back when I have all the clumps out of this. Okay, now I got all the clumps out. I'm hoping you guys can really see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna get a spoon. And let's give this a taste, see if I need to do anything with it. Hmm. Wouldn't hurt having some more chicken flavor in that. That 
chickeny, chickeny enough for me. So let's add one teaspoon. Or half a teaspoon that was, sorry. Oh, really? You need to make noise? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta make noise. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, that's better. It needs salt. I wasn't sure if it was gonna need salt or not. I kind of held back on it because when you're using powdered bases, it'll tend to hold off on the salt until I'm done with it so I can taste to see if it needs it. Also supposed to add black pepper. I don't go heavy on black pepper though. Okay, so now let's give this a try. Okay guys, remember this is not my recipe. Totally tweaking somebody else's recipe. <laughs> I shouldn't need to do anything more with it now. Mm, no, perfect. That is perfect. Okay. So there we go. If you wanted this to be a soup, definitely add some more milk or something to it. But I need this as a condensed milk or condensed cream soup, which this is exactly what it is. So you guys are gonna see what I'm gonna do with this tomorrow. And I'm going to continue on. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to leave the link down below for this, this exact recipe. Well, mimicking this exact recipe. So I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you tomorrow for the rest of this. Bye.